The following video will demonstrate the testing of the pH and ORP, oxidation reduction potential, or the level of antioxidants for the following water ionizer machines. The Ion Ways Athena, the Jupiter Orion, the Aquarius Rejuvenator, also known as the Gold Fox, the Enagic Leveluck, the Life Ionizer 7500, the Tyant. pH is measured on a logarithmic scale from 1 to 14 used to describe the acidity or alkalinity of a water sample. pH stands for potential hydrogen. If your body is too acidic, you do not have enough oxygen available for your body cells to stay healthy. This acidic condition can be caused by stress, acidic foods, bottled water, the environment, and other factors. When our body is alkaline and getting enough minerals from our diet to stay alkaline, our blood can function normally, delivering oxygen to the cells throughout our body and carrying away acidic waste to be disposed. The following tests will display the pH levels found in the water samples from different water ionizer manufacturers. ORP is an acronym for Oxidation Reduction Potential. In terms of ionized water, ORP measures the antioxidant levels found in a water sample. Ionized water should only yield a negative ORP level, meaning it eliminates the free radicals that cause oxidation. Oxidation is measured on the positive end of the scale, and an example of oxidation would be an apple turning brown once it's cut open. To promote health, it's recommended for a person to consume antioxidants. So the higher the antioxidant level, a negative number found in the water, the better the water is for your health. The test will begin with a test of the Ion Ways Athena. First, we will test the pH levels of the water sample from the Athena. The pH level for the water sample for the Athena reads 10.20. Now we will test the ORP level of the water sample from the Athena. The ORP level for the water sample for the Athena reads negative 139. Now we will test the Jupiter Orion. First, we will test the pH level of the water sample from the Orion. The pH level for the water sample for the Orion reads 9.15. Now we will test the ORP level of the water sample from the Orion. The ORP level for the water sample for the Orion reads minus 141. First we will test the pH level of the water sample from the Enagic. The pH level from the water sample from the Enagic reads 9.58. Now we will test the ORP level of the water sample from the Enagic. The ORP level for the water sample from the Enagic reads negative 204, but didn't sustain itself and continue to decrease. Now we will test the Life Ionizer 7500. First, we will test the pH level of the water sample from the Life Ionizer 7500.
The pH level for the water sample for the Life Ionizer 7500 reads 11.24. Now we will test the ORP level of the water sample from the Life Ionizer 7500. The ORP level for the water sample for the Life Ionizer 7500 reads minus 858. Now we will test the Aquarius Rejuvenator. The initial attempt to start the Aquarius Rejuvenator resulted in a loud clicking noise from the machine. I got a massive leak, dude. It's not true. The machine then began to leak onto the counter. The second attempt to test the machine led to additional leaking from the machine. This attempt also led to the machine tripping the electrical outlet which had to be reset to turn the machine back on. Now we will test the tyant. First we will test the pH level of the water sample from the tyant. The pH level for the water sample for the tyant reads 10.19. Now we will test the ORP level of the water sample from the tyant. The ORP level for the water sample for the tyant reads minus 180. To recap the pH testing results, the ion waves Athena reached a level of 10.20, the Jupiter Orion reached 9.15, the Life Ionizer 7500 reached 11.24, the Aquarius Rejuvenator test was inconclusive, the Tyant was 10.19, and the Enagic Leveluck was 9.58. The top two machines were the Life Ionizer 7500 and the Athena. It's important to understand that a pH scale is similar to a seismic scale, and when you begin to enter the top end of the scale, the margins between the points yield a much higher impact. For example, the Athena produced a pH level of 10.20, and the Life Ionizer 7500 produced a level of 11.24. The difference between the results are about 10 basis points, but the Life Ionizer 7500 level of 11.24 is actually 1,000% stronger than the level of 10.20 produced by the Athena. To recap the ORP testing results, the Ion Waves Athena reached a level of minus 139. The Jupiter Orion reached minus 141. The Life Ionizer 7500 reached minus 858. The Aquarius Rejuvenator test was inconclusive. The Tyant reached minus 180. And the Enagic Leveluck reached minus 204, but didn't sustain that level. The higher the ORP, or antioxidant level, the better results you will achieve. Remember that the pH and ORP levels are dependent upon your water source. This concludes the testing of the pH and ORP levels of the Ion Waves Athena, the Jupiter Orion, the Aquarius Rejuvenator, the Life Ionizer 7500, the Tyant, and the Enagic Leveluck.